Well, just the nature of my work is uh, very multidisciplinary. I, I run a space called House in West Los Angeles, and I make my own work and organize exhibitions as well. Even within my work, my work ranges from you know, very traditional painting to found object sculpture to video to performance. I grew up here in the States, but uh, I didn't become a citizen until only a few years ago and everything. So since I've become a citizen, I've become like, more conscious of you know, what it means to be American and everything. When I was younger and right out of grad school, I thought of the idea of being in something that's so culturally oriented it was a very, very problematic. Um, just to say, oh, that's what they do and that's what we do and just lump it all together is very dangerous, right? I didn't know if I wanted to be just seen as, oh yeah, that Japanese American guy. You know, the context is always really, really important, right? Now, certain exhibitions that intelligently deal with this issue of identity, I think if it's done well, you know, uh, with awareness of these issues, I think it, it could be great. I made a series about the Japanese action hero Ultraman, also based on Richter's 48 portraits. And there were a bunch of portraits of Ultraman, but something about the design reminded me of the sunglass lenses as well. I like this idea of this cracking and this fracturing, this idea of putting it all back together, kind of like it's this uh, Sisyphusian, like very labor intensive, inefficient task to create something that's like ultimately broken. And, you know, I see some kind of beauty in that. And then I ran across this mannequin, so I had this crazy idea of, well, what if I cover this whole mannequin with it? Even before I started art school, I've been immersed in this kind of artist-run culture or DIY culture and everything. My magazine, I think, it was an attempt to kind of, in a very small, limited way, just to create more dialogue between uh, those two communities, and, like seeing where those limits are in terms of what people recognize as cultural products, but also where those limits are in terms of what's allowed or what's accepted, and seeing where those gray areas are, and trying not to really go past the gray areas and uh, being playful within them. <laughs>